So you've just got yourself your first drone. Oh, you have taken one to the sky and you obviously love it, right? But before you do it for another time, let's talk about a couple of habits that will ensure that everyone is safe including you. In this video, I will talk about all the habits that are absolutely necessary for a drone pilot to ensure that everyone is safe, everything is legal, and you are not getting yourself into too much trouble. Let's go. Hi, my name is Lexi Jansen, aka Mayan High, and I've been flying FPV drones since 2015. But before we start, just a quick disclaimer, this video is in no shape or form any type of legal advice. Be sure that you are checking any type of local laws or the laws that may have been updated since we made this video for your own safety. Let's start with the most boring and obvious stuff, which is drone regulations. You wouldn't really drive your car without a valid driver's license or without any type of knowledge on how to drive a car would you? Now, why would you do the same with the drone? Be sure that you familiarize yourself with all of the local rules that are depending on your country or on the area that you are in. And this may also apply to a different types of drones. FPV drones, drones less than 250 grams or drones more than 5 kilograms have different rules, so all of this applies. You should read through your drone manufacturer's instructions and if you build the drone yourself, you have to know how everything works and what are the limitations of the certain parts of your drone. Why? Because you always need to know what to do in case of an emergency. You need to know how the weather and environment may be affecting your drone, how the sun or the weather may be affecting your GPS or all the things like this, just in case something goes not as it should and you need to ensure everyone's safety. To ensure that you know everything about your drone and how it reacts to certain controls and environments, you need to train. Like with everything in life, training is the key. If you are just in front of your first flight with your FPV drone or your camera drone, check out the video that we made with Martin some time ago here on FPV24, and I'm leaving you the link for it below the like button. Now let's go to the habits. One of the most important things that you need to ensure as a drone pilot is that your control device is in constant communication with your drone. So what I mean by this is, a radio and I'm personally using Crossfire because this is the most stable link that I think is currently available on the market and if you want to learn more about the Crossfire products I'm leaving you the video below the like button as well and what I'm also doing to ensure that there is a communication with my device is that I'm simply arming and disarming my drone it's a really easy trick and you just see if everything is okay right away battery life. Make sure that your batteries are in the best shape and form possible and that they are fully charged. You wouldn't want to go anywhere and just realize that your batteries are not charged, would you? And also you need to make sure that they are not damaged in any way, shape or form. If you see something black next to your battery or something that's sticking out, do not use it. If your battery is getting puffy, also you shouldn't be using it really. Be sure to land your drone around 30% to ensure that the battery stays healthy and your drone stays alive. If you want to and more about all of the battery stuff we have made a really huge and extended blog post that you can find below in the description box now let's talk maintenance batteries as well as the drone itself need to be pre-checked before every flight and visual inspection is absolutely okay things such as is the drone all right does it look like it has been damaged in any shape or form is the camera clean are the motors spinning all right are the propellers fine and what you can actually do to check it is to put the drone straight in front of yourself and just move the propeller and compare it with any single other one and this will allow you to check if any of them is better in any way shape or form and it's really visible for you so we can check it and replace it whenever you need. It is absolutely illegal to fly under influence of alcohol or any type of strong medication. You need to be in a good shape to fly your drone just like you need to be in a good shape to drive your car. This is a legal requirement so please be sure of that. What European Aviation Safety Authority is requiring you to have is a spotter. And spotter is a person that doesn't really have to have any type of a license, but it's ensuring that you yourself are safe and undisturbed while you are flying. The spotter is informing you if there are any people or animals coming into the vicinity of your flight and also ensuring that no one is getting hurt while you are flying. And this also includes you, especially when you are having your goggles on. 
As of 1st of January 2024, the European rules for drones are changing. So be sure that you are absolutely familiar with all of the changes that may have encountered in your own country. And be sure that you take the A1, A3 license test, which can be taken online in most European countries. All the drone pilots are required to register themselves and label all of their working drones. And this doesn't really matter what is the size of your drone, because even the drones below 250 grams have to have this label on them. How do you get it? Well, once you register yourself, you're going to get yourself a UAS ID, which is also called EID, and you can stick them straight as a sticker on every single one of your drones. Now, since we're on it, you also need to have a liability insurance. And some of the normal liability insurances include drones, but the others don't so be sure to check out on that. And also, last but not least, it is the legal requirement to have at least 16 years of age to fly the drone by yourself. There are, of course, things that you can do if you are younger than this, but probably they include things such as, well, having someone that's already licensed with you. Now that we have all the legal stuff off the table and Bye! Let's talk about some common sense. We all love drones and want them to be as accepted by society as possible. So everyone is happy, no one's disturbing us, we can fly our drones, current stay at home. What are you doing? Are you recording my cat? What are you even doing in here? Who allowed you to fly in here? What is going on? Now, a couple of things to ensure that. Number one, stay away from private people's property because you need the permission to record there. So please do not go through other people's windows and things like this. We don't want that. This is not making it any easier. Number two, you need a permission of people to actually record them. If they are far away, somewhere in the background, that's absolutely fine. But if you can recognize a person, you already need their permission. And the same goes to the animals, okay? Stay away from them, they are uninvolved, unless you can get their permission, and good luck with that, we try. Talk to people. If someone approaches you while you are flying your drone, you should inform them that first you need to land, or actually your spotter should be doing it, because you obviously have one, don't you? Entschuldigung, dürfen Sie überhaupt fliegen? And then explain to them what you are doing, what you are recording, and what you are not recording. What you can also do is to hand over your FPV goggles to a person and show them exactly how it looks like. And usually this thing switches anger into interest and enthusiasm. When it goes to the flight altitude, the general rule of thumb is that you should be flying not higher than 120 meters. But different areas may have different restrictions and you always need to check them. There are special apps that you can have either on your tablet or on your phone that will tell you in which area you are in. And this also involves information about any type of active or inactive airport. And since we're on it, do not fly next to the airport. You should fly your drone within the line of sight. And this means that your drone should be visible with the naked eye, without the binoculars or anything like this. And that your spotter is aware where your drone is exactly. And since we're on it, follow the verbal instructions of your spotter. If there is a dog coming in or any type of a person and they tell you do not land or stay a little bit higher because the dog got interested, you need to follow those instructions. I hope that this short overview of all of the rules and important habits has helped you a lot or opened your eyes into the things that we can do as a community to ensure that drones are more acceptable by the society and everything is okay for us when it goes to the laws. And if you have any more questions regarding this, leave us a comment down below and generally let us know what you would like to know. I will see you in the next video. Stay awesome, fam. Bye.